So in this media, we are going to learn about transformer losses and the main agenda for the topic would be copper losses because it was asked recently asked by the surveyor that how do we measure copper losses. So uh, for me that would have been little injustice if I directly come on to the topic of uh, how we measure copper losses. So I'll just give you an overview of what all losses that do exist in the transformer and then we'll move on to the copper losses what is a copper losses and how do we measure this copper losses so there are various types of losses occur in the transformer such as iron losses copper losses hysteresis losses eddy current losses stray loss and dielectric losses we are not going to cover all the losses in detail we'll focus on to copper losses but before that there are two broad category of losses that is being categorized uh, and these are losses are generally defined as the difference between input and output voltage so you need to understand that what is a loss loss means jo aapne input di aapko utna output nahi mila ye har ek cheez mein hota hai this happens if uh, this happens everywhere okay so means that goes somewhere okay and here it happens in the form of voltage somewhere it will form happen in the form of energy okay in transformer two types of loss is possible that is mechanical loss these are broad category under this all these things comes uh, mechanical loss and electrical loss mechanical losses include windage loss friction loss the electrical loss is further divided into iron loss or core loss and copper losses okay here you will have sub category of eddy current loss and also on iron loss or core loss depends upon the magnetic properties of the material used in the transformer core so iron loss will depend on the magnetic properties of the material and core losses include hysteresis loss and eddy current loss so these are sub category of all these things so now when we stick our discussion to the copper loss then we say what is copper loss in transformer copper loss in transformer is generally defined as the losses occur at the transformer winding so whenever we talk about transformer so we always talk about winding and that is primary winding and the secondary winding okay so we have losses in the primary winding as well as we have losses in the secondary winding so we generally here grossly we combine both the loss and we say to be as a copper loss okay in uh, copper loss can separately will occur in the primary winding and secondary winding okay transformer winding are generally made up of copper material so this why we tell it as copper loss in transformer in the winding because these windings are made up of copper when current is passed through the winding due to some resistance of winding some losses occur which is the copper loss of the transformer the copper loss does not mean losses of copper but it is the loss due to internal winding resistance it is the loss due to internal winding resistance copper loss is a relative loss which is i square r loss now when we when you further sub categorize in primary winding then it will become i1 r1 because the current will be different in primary winding and secondary winding similarly the resistance that is r1 and r2 okay so it will be i1 square r1 and uh, in secondary winding it will be i2 square r2 okay now Lo now loss is directly proportional to square of the current so in this formula you have seen i square r okay so it is means what loss is proportional to the square of the current which means it is directly proportional to load means current matlab kya load jitna jyada heavy equipment hoga utna jyada wo current draw karega okay your mobile phone charger will draw lesser current as compared to the press okay प्रेस जो आप कपड़े जिससे प्रेस करते हो या फिर फ्रिज हो गया दे ड्रॉ मोर करेंट ओके सो द लॉसेस विल आल्सो बी मोर एज कंपेयर टू योर चार्जर ओके विद लॉ विद द लोड इंक्रीजेस कॉपर लॉस इन द ट्रांसफार्मर इंक्रीजेस सो एज यू इंक्रीज द लोड द कॉपर लॉस इंक्रीजेस हेंस कॉपर लॉस वेरीज विद द वेरिएशन ऑफ लोड इन द ट्रांसफार्मर सो कॉपर लॉस वेरीज विद द वेरिएशन ऑफ load in the transformer so as you increase the load on the transformer the copper loss will also increase okay now how to measure copper loss in transformer copper loss in the transformer is measured by 
short circuit test of the transformer so we do a short circuit test by this only this copper loss is measured for measuring copper loss first we short circuit the transformer low voltage side now you see here this is the diagram this is what is known as lv side that is low voltage side this is what is known as your hv side that is high voltage side here from here you can vary okay that's why you see here the pointer you must have uh, now for measuring loss first we short circuit the transformer low voltage side after the short circuit of low voltage side a small voltage applied to the high voltage side now we apply a small voltage to the high voltage side till rated current flow in the lv side so whatever is the rated current we apply the uh, hv side with it till the low voltage side reaches the rated current and as in low voltage side maximum current flow through the copper winding which is going to measure so as in the low voltage side is the maximum current flow through the copper winding now this current which flows that is measured here in secondary winding voltage is low so that core loss is negligible so we got lost which is only copper loss so we we get a loss basically here is spelling mistake sorry for this in secondary winding voltage is low so that core loss is negligible so we can have core loss also but the core loss is negligible so we whatever loss we that we get here that is copper loss okay now that's all by measuring the current passing through the secondary winding and resistance of secondary winding we can find the copper loss so current we have measured then again what we do we, uh, we can measure the uh, resistance of the secondary winding otherwise we directly add one watt meter in low voltage side so here you can see that they have added this watt meter in the watt meter over here which directly indicate copper loss okay that is p is equal to i square r here it is directly now how do we now this copper loss is there and it is proportional to the square of the current as you increase the load this will increase so how can we reduce this copper loss that is an obvious question copper loss are contributing in the reduction in the transformer efficiency now obviously any loss will reduce the efficiency so that it is necessary to reduce copper losses up to a certain level so what we are doing we are reducing the copper losses up to a certain level as we saw the copper loss is the heating or resistive loss it is a heating or resistive loss that is i square r in the winding for reducing losses in transformer we have to maintain the resistance of transformer winding so what we are doing we are maintaining the resistance of the transformer wind resistance is inversely proportional to the area of the conductor now you all know this uh, these formulas and um, these derivation of 12th standard by the increase in the area of the winding conductor the resistance of the transformer winding can be minimized so when you increase the area the resistance okay by increase the area of the winding conductor the resistance of the transformer winding can be minimized so we can reduce so that the losses occur at the winding will reduce the losses will another technique of minimizing copper loss is vacuum pressure impregnation vpi okay in this technique the transformer is kept in the vacuum vacuum then high pressure varnish is passed so that the smallest of the air gaps are also filled and reducing the copper losses so you must have seen that uh, why uh, this uh, varnish is there and uh, to fill these air gaps and there is there are obviously other reasons as well so there are two methods when you increase the area so the increase resistance is inversely proportional to the area of the conductor so what we are doing by the increase in the area of the winding conductor the resistance of the transformer winding can be minimized so that the losses occur at the winding will reduce and the other technique is of winding uh, varnish application wherein we are filling up the gaps so in this video we saw uh, what are the different types of losses that occurs in a transformer what is a copper loss formula for the copper loss how we can 
can, how we measure the copper loss and how do we really reduce this copper loss okay what are the different techniques of for reducing these copper losses okay thank you so much thank you for your valuable time